All right, everybody, we are just getting started. Let me turn my screen here. So we're going to give uh, Shakira a chance to join, and we're going to kick things off. So I'm going to hang on for a bit, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep talking because it looks like he's trying to connect. And Shakir is connecting from the United Kingdom. And um, so it's late at night for him right now. And he's connecting. It says that he's waiting. What does it mean, waiting? Let me see if he's actually in a Zoom link. Hopefully he's not. So just bear us here. I'm messaging right now because we're trying to coordinate the um, access here. So bear with us. But this is live, folks. So I say, if you can, let me know in the in the chat if you guys can hear me okay. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are here. So like, like, let me know if you can hear me. And I'm trying to connect because he's Shakir's saying that he's waiting but I don't see him waiting in the live stream. So cool. I'm glad you guys can hear me. So let me see. Awesome. Thanks guys. So I say, Hey, he says that he's in the waiting area, but I don't see him online at all. So let's see here. I just said if uh, if he can exit the browser and try again, and he's giving it another try. So I say bear with, but um, I tell you, this is going to be amazing, folks, for sure. Like uh, preparing this, this um, Shakir's doing some like amazing things, producing over thirty million dollars under the age of thirty, um, meeting with some big celebs uh, in here. So that Tony Robbins. Richard Branson, Grant Cardone, um, Brian Tracy, just like amazing connections and um, just really, really amazing success stories. So hopefully he does uh, get a chance to connect with us uh, because he's a really, really awesome guy um, and he's going to help help a lot. Uh, I mean, he's helped a lot of people. So let's see. Let's see if he's able to join. Oh, I do see him here. So let's see if he's able to join. I can hear you now. I can nice. hear you joining. Let me know if you can hear. And no worries. I was already explaining that, you know, we're this is live. It's all about setting up the uh, this is behind the scenes, getting an introduction into the podcast recording because it's more about the audio podcast. But I don't see your video. I'm not sure if your video enables or not. You know, it should come on. I'm not sure why. OK, it's now not. I see. You. Yeah. Hey, man, let's what's up here? Awesome, bro. <laughs> hey, welcome for sure. So we yeah. got the live stream going and I would say, let me just message to the audience here. Let us know if you can hear us. And also I'd say drop your questions, ask your questions along the way.
Yeah, because this is an amazing opportunity to get with uh, Shakir here. And actually, I want to make sure that I know how to pronounce your name right. That's so exactly it. Yeah. Shakir. Yep, you got it, man. And then your last name? Hussein. Hussein? Okay, cool. All right, because I do have... So for the audience listening, um, you know, this is kind of behind the scenes view. We're live streaming right now. So we're live streaming to YouTube, Facebook, multiple Facebook groups and Periscope and Twitch. Uh, but this is behind the scenes view of the audio podcast recording. So tech money talks. So I do a live introduction, which I put together here. So let me pull up, uh, my script and, uh, and then from there, we just kind of let the conversation lead us. And for the audience watching and catching us live, you know, be sure to drop your questions along the way as we're having this conversation and, I'll start pulling in those questions so that uh, we can bring it into the, so it gives, it gives the audience a chance to participate in the podcast as well. Uh, so really great stuff. So Shakir is, uh, you ready to go? I'm ready to rock and roll. Awesome, man. All right. Well, let me get in the zone here. Let me get my notes up and we are going to kick things off. All right, cool. I get myself pumped up before we begin here. So we're going to get things started. Hey, everybody. Brian McCumber here with Tech Money Talks. I am really excited today because we have a very special guest on the podcast. We are fortunate to have Shakir Hussein as a special guest on the show. And Shakir is the world's only two-time eight-figure two-comma club X award winner in a single year. And Shakir also generated over $30 million with his online business under the age of 30. He's an expert in funnels and information business publishing. Shakir specializes in helping coaches and consultants charge anywhere from three to $15,000 to get surge of paid, paid clients. So if you're interested in starting an online business to make extra money, you better save this episode in your back pocket and listen to it over and over again, because the stories and the tips you're going to learn here will give you the opportunity to quickly launch your own business to help your wallet grow fat. Shakir is a leader in the industry and has an amazing network of A-list business professionals. Shakir spoke to more than 25,000 people at his live events around the world, and he's been featured in major publications and has a best-selling book called The Backpack Millionaire. I tell you, time is money and everyone's looking to get a piece of his time, and I'm so happy to have him on the show today. Shakir, thanks for joining us, man. How's it going? Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Awesome, bro. Yeah, man, that's really great. I'm really glad we had a chance to connect for sure. And uh, like, I think I, I heard you speak on Clubhouse is really where I caught you uh, talk of really dropping some value and knowledge. And uh, ever since then, I was just like, man, it was awesome. I'm glad we had a chance to get our schedules to, to connect and work out for today's podcast. But I was wondering, you know, maybe for the audience and to even to give you some background, you know, Tech Money Talks has been a podcast mostly focused on like e-commerce and drop shipping. But I would say there's still a lot of people in the online business space. Maybe you can kind of speak to how, you know, people should be looking to expand their horizons across online business. But I was wondering if you could like share your journey and your background. Yeah, hundred percent, man. So I got started. Just a quick, re re really, uh, real backstory. I started. Uh, is there an echo here? Uh, I don't hear one, but I'll I'll lower I my hear, audio if you hear one. I hear one. an echo. Okay, that's okay. much better. Now I hear an echo. Okay, cool. so uh, the echo is still there. Just FYI. Still there. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's much better now. Okay, cool. So. Uh, yeah, I got started about 10 plus years ago now, been in the industry for over a decade, which is a long, long time. You know, if, if anyone's been around for a long time, they know. And the way I got started was, you know, I was going to school, college, university, and then I came across this seminar. And during the seminar, you know, this guy gets up on stage and he starts talking about how you can make money online by placing tiny little ads all over the internet and having people come to you instead of you chasing them. And for me, that was a huge breakthrough because I got started in internet marketing and in internet business by doing home-based business stuff, right? Like network marketing, talking to people. And 
I said to myself, you know, if I can find another way, I'm just going to go all in. And so when I met that internet marketer who was placing ads online, having people come to him, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Okay, like th this was the biggest breakthrough. And so I really just delved right into it. Uh, in the beginning, I couldn't afford things. So I go into a lot of debt, which, you know, is good debt. I've got into, I spent about $45,000 of other people's money, my friends, family's money. And, and I went and figured out how to start an online business. And as soon as I did, you know, the first nine months was probably the most painful nine months ever. I was up all night trying to crack the code. Back then, podcasts wasn't around. YouTube videos wasn't around as much. You'd have to go and buy these things called product launches. And I'd buy product launches and uh -huh. you'd get emailed by a hundred different gurus every single day. And it was like just an absolute nightmare when we when I was starting off. There was no such thing as funnel builders, right? You'd have to learn HTML and programming and coding and stuff to make your own sites. And, you know, I said to myself, I'm going to figure out what is the highest leverage work I can go and develop. And at the time, it was generating traffic and having a high ticket funnel, right? Being able to attract people that needed my help, that came through my funnel, booked a call with me and bought. And if they didn't buy, then I would send them emails and get them to book a call again. And using that system, in my first three years, I went from zero to $1.2 million a year. And over the next few years, I've literally been able to duplicate that strategy to now generating, uh, very humbly speaking, tens of millions of dollars before the age of 30. And so now it's my greatest pa passion and my excitement, which is really just teaching other people how what I've done and, and to be able to give the gift of funnels and education and marketing so that people can have greater impact, greater influence, greater income, and most importantly, have a lot of fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun in my early 20s. I traveled to over 60 plus countries, places, endless, you know, five-star uh, uh, vacations. And so, you know, it's been a good, good decade plus. And what really excites me now is being able to help people where they can take you know, one of my programs, the Funnels Accelerator or the Funnels Mastermind or whatever, and they can start a business and scale it to six figures. And the people that are at six or seven figures and they want to scale to eight figures, you know, me just seeing them and helping them through navigate the complex journeys that every one of us go through, because I made a lot of mistakes. You know, I made more mistakes than I can count. And I think when, when someone makes a lot of mistakes, it's wise for, for you to learn from someone. You don't want to just learn from people that are always having success. So th those are a few th thoughts on my head, but we can take the conversation. Uh, someone just said, I remember listening to him in Empower Network training solo ads. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I used to train on solo ads, trained literally an entire industry, um, hundreds of thousands of paying clients. I, I was teaching them on the power of solo ads. So I appreciate that, Jermaine. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And when, uh, so dating back, what year was that? Like way back? Gosh, when that must've been, that must've been 2012 ish. I think 2012 wow. or 2013. That's what, that's the year I made my first million dollars in a single year. And uh, gosh, that was like eight years ago now, I think. That's awesome, man. And I remember, so in doing some research to help prepare for the podcast, I was looking and I saw you had a picture with uh, John Chow, which was the blogger from back back in the day, was just pretty popular. I was wondering if you could share that story. How did you have a connection with him? Yeah, I had met him through masterminds. Through So through masterminds, I was able to meet you know, people from all sorts of different backgrounds. Uh, you've probably seen Tony Robbins, Richard Branson. Um, I mean, uh, quite a lot of big, big name industry leaders, tycoons, billionaires. Um, so I was very fortunate because I put myself in those situations where I can go and meet. There you go. There's a few pictures. Um, yeah. Grant Cardone, uh, what's his name? Kevin Harrington, a few other cool guys. You know, I was able to meet them because of the power of masterminds that's great man so yeah for the audience catching us live you can see on the screen here you know pictures with with all these great uh 
professionals. And I mean, you have many more. <laughs> this is just like a glimpse of what you could actually put on there, uh, which is really amazing. And um, so, you know, with that, so I was wondering, what's the story behind having the two businesses? Or maybe for the audience, because not everybody knows about what two comma club means. Maybe you could explain that. And you even have the plaques behind you to, to show that. So maybe share that story and, and explain, you know, what all went through there. Yeah. So in a nutshell, you know, two commas, two commas is uh, where, what people dream of. A two comma is essentially, you know, if you, it's a million bucks, two commas in a million bucks. Right. And, and it's a huge goal, right? Like I've, I've trained over 25,000 people in person through my live events and workshops and seminars all over the world. And the number one goal, almost like 99% of people have, is they want to make 10K a month. Doesn't matter what country, I've done events in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Sing uh, Hong Kong, UK, all over America, Australia, they want to make $10,000 a month. That's like the magical end all be all. If they could make 10 grand a month, life is all, you know, dope, uh, dopey. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, I remember like that was my first goal as well you know i used to go around my parents house and i used to walk down the street and chant affirmations and incantations like i'm making 10k a month and i was like broke you know completely like buried in debt and what had happened was as soon as i started breaking through 10k 50k 100k a month i started having a new financial thermostat right and i realized wow like a million dollars a year is very possible a million dollars a month is very possible and what's even cooler is that a lot of people, once they get past that 10K month or 10K kind of vision, that million dollars is a big goal for a lot of people. So what the Two Comma Club Award is, is an award given by a company called ClickFunnels. It's owned by my friend Russell Bronson. And basically he gives you if you surpass a million dollars with a funnel. And the bigger awards, which is actually called the two CCX awards, as far as I know, uh, I'm actually the youngest person to win all three of them uh, before the age of 30. So I got them because I generated $30 million uh, in three of my funnels. So it's $10 million each uh, uh, selling marketing, coaching, courses, consulting online. And those represent $10 million. The smaller one represents a million bucks. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing, man. Yeah. Clap clap to that one for sure. Those, I mean, that's a really great success story. And um, was the funnels.com? So I'm curious, what's the story behind funnels.com? How did you even acquire that name? Because that seems like a very, you know, like, uh, you know, great name to, to have so what what's the story yeah i mean i get a lot of attention just this morning i was talking to someone who wants to purchase a hundred thousand dollars of coaching and consulting from me so i have like really uh high level packages that, that are for specific people that are making already 100 grand a month and beyond and and uh, this guy you know he's on and and i'm giving him the details of this hundred thousand dollar program that i have and he turns around and he says man with a domain like that basically how can i not do business with you so the domain does help a lot because if you look at it from a every single person's starting point right it's like you inviting me to come on this call and you're on different platforms but you're using restream it's a url it's the first thing people see right like they don't even see the website they see the actual domain people write in so Domain, the right domain name can dramatically increase your authority, positioning, credibility, and how you are perceived in the marketplace. Okay, so that's that. How I got it was I had spent about $50,000 around five or six years ago, and I acquired it um, amongst many other domains. But that was one that I was very passionate about buying. Uh, I also own salesfunnels.com. Um, and... You know, I, I, I realized early on, because I used to own soloadsagency.com, if you have the right domain and if you build the right business on it, I mean, it could, it could really put you on the map. So back in 2009, 2010, I hired a coach. I remember paying him about 1500 bucks, and he advised me to buy soloadsagency.com. 
And I remember buying solo ads agency.com, you know, I had my business maybe making 20, 30 K a month within 12 months it shot to $300,000 a month. And I never looked back. I never oh, looked wow. back. And I just, and I was like, I don't know, 23, 24 years old, maybe I was probably 24. And I remember thinking to myself, Hmm, like, that is insane just because of how I positioned it. So now I own FB ads agency for my private agency, video ads agency, a whole bunch of these agencies that I actually, actually, I don't talk about them publicly, but I'm just giving you an example. And it's designed specifically to be the authority in a specific market to a specific group of people. And I believe that if you can do this, your life and your business will forever be transformed. One of the biggest mistakes people make is they try to appeal to everyone. And when you get clear on one type of prospect or client that you want to appeal to, and you can remove a lot of the fluff, then it's, it, you know, business becomes a lot more fun. It becomes a lot more profitable and you get to scale much faster because you're working with people that are ideal right fits. Very true. Yeah. I mean, uh, an example is like given with what I did with the podcast initially, uh, like I started real broad, like I wanted to talk about all the money making opportunities. I mean, there's tons of ways you can make money online. And it wasn't until about a year later when I when I figured out that I was like, well, I feel like I'm so broad. Let me just focus on one area. And, and like I mentioned in the beginning, which was related to drop shipping and e-commerce. And then, you know, things just started taking off. And that's where. Uh, you know, now eventually, you know, Spotify and Anchor FM sponsored the show and uh, a few other things, just, you know, have a guess and things like that. So it's just like, that's, that's another example by, you know, just picking one thing to focus on. All of a sudden you see some accelerated uh, growth there. That's awesome, man. And uh, one of the things that caught my attention, which was when you mentioned uh, affirmation. So I was curious, you know, your mindset and the mental game, like what are your thoughts on like law of attraction and where your mind should be? And do you use that as a part of your business? Yeah, hundred percent. I do. Uh, I don't really like to trust too much on this law of attraction thing. I just call it law of action. You know, if I take more action, I'm going to get more results. If I'm feeling anxiety, I tell myself action over anxiety, you know, action cures anxiety. Uh, and most of the time, you know, and I'm not to throw a blanket statement, but I've coached a lot of people, thousands of people uh, from a face to face setting and live events to group settings to hundred thousand dollar clients, everything in between startups to, you know, entrepreneurs. One of my students now I've coached him. Uh, he's in my mastermind. He's doing over one point seven million dollars a month. Uh, so I know the different spectrum of people. Right. Um, and the biggest thing I've seen is that when you are going through entrepreneurs in general have a lot of anxiety, they stay up late, they drink a lot of coffee, they have huge egos, the ego gets smashed, then they come back up, they humble themselves, then they, you know, they get too big for the boots, then they get smashed again, then they come back up. So I, I get it, right? Like I, I understand, I went through those cycles myself and sometimes I still go through them right now, right? And <laughs> And, and and just just being very upfront, honest with you, right? And what I've seen is that we all have a level of anxiety. And how do you, like, one of the fastest ways I've found to break through is you just have to keep producing. Instead of consuming, you produce. Instead of feeling anxiety, you take action so that you don't give, give yourself any time, right? Like, you, I don't have time to procrastinate because... Like today, I had probably back-to-back -back things to do for at least a solid six to eight hours, you know? And I'm like, even after the podcast with you, I've got like an extra two calls. Now, I don't do these because I need to do them. I do these because I actually genuinely enjoy doing them, right? So that's like one of my, I guess, tactics for overcoming anxiety and getting things done. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you taking the time to... Uh, to come on to the show for sure. And, uh, and I've been seeing, and actually let's give a shout out to the, to the YouTube channel. Like I like what you've been doing on, on YouTube and Instagram, like you've been dropping real value. And I was wondering if you can kind of share 
your thoughts about you know giving back and and what you're doing more and more on on youtube and yeah and i appreciate it those of you who are listening on the podcast make sure you go to my youtube.com forward slash shakiru saying and go and subscribe i want some youtube subscribers uh this year i did make it a goal uh to start creating a lo- lot more content it's just like i have a lot of free time i can create content i can do interviews um and so yeah there you go i just uh, uh there's a couple of really good ones in there and uh, i really just do it because i, th- I think it's a fa- it's a form of self-therapy i guess um but it, it's just good I, I just like uh getting in front of the camera and just adding some value so that's awesome man yeah, yeah so like definitely shakira is is giving back uh which i think is a really great thing and that that's been part of my you know motivation as well like a reason for doing the podcast which is like um it's just kind of like my way of of, of giving back because like you know the knowledge that you have um and sharing it and see how it, it can impact so many others so like uh are there what are a few like success stories that have been meaningful you know from you kind of sharing your knowledge with with people uh i mean i'll just give you an example of someone that just whatsapp me like like probably five minutes before we started <laughs> this right and um this was a guy who started from absolute nothing had like no idea about almost any anything to do with business then he came and he got mentored by me for i'd say about eight to 12 months around eight months uh yeah it was actually 12 months it was around 12 months and i think he's now done over one and a half million dollars in sales and he just texted me saying hey i've got a business one of his brands he's got quite a few but he's got one brand that he's ready to sell for around i think 300 or 400 thousand us dollars and his other new brand he wants me to come on as an advisor and and i said look I, i'll think about it because like right now i'm getting paid a hundred thousand dollars for my time and for me to coach people and i'm getting a piece of the pie which means equity right and and i said to him let me think about it and you know th- this this is a young kid he's gonna, he's gonna go on to do big big things and he's offering uh, a, a a nice percentage of his entire company at no cost to me right so all it's going to take is my time which is still uh my time and yeah. you know i look at that and he's i think he's 21 or 22 years old you know and so i have quite a few success stories like that i have i'll have you know the odd person message me on instagram saying hey i came to your seminar <laughs> you know a few years ago i was dead broke you were selling a high ticket offer uh, I I came in, I bought it, and I've made three million bucks. You know, I, I've got plenty of people like that. I've got people that I will say, you know, they quit their job, they went full time. I got a lady. She was she in less than one year, I think it was a year or eighteen months, some, something around that time. She and her husband came to one of my live events, right? And she, her husband was super skeptical, but when they came to my live event, they met me and my team. They came in, uh, they bought one of my high-end coaching packages. Within 12 months, they were making over $100,000 a month. You know, and this was a lady that used to work in a bank for like 20 plus years in corporate, nine to five. So just like, you know, th- those kind of things are, are really um, fulfilling, should I say. Yeah, yeah. No, that's really awesome. And actually, it reminds me of a question that, that I've asked a lot of uh, previous guests, which is... Um, because there's a lot of new people, especially with, you know, what's changed over the past year and a half with the pandemic and things, a lot of people forced to look for new opportunities. So the question uh, goes like this, if you had to start all over again, and if you only had like a couple thousand dollars to your name, you know, what would you do over the next 30 days to, to make money and explain why? Uh, you know, I get that question quite a lot. I would say... <laughs> You know, if you're starting off and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I need to do? Um, you you got to commit. Like, you, you got to understand how money is made, right? Money is made because you exchange value to someone else, okay? And, and why is that value being exchanged? Because one person has a problem, another person has a solution. So if you can find someone that has a problem and you can give them a solution, then you'll get paid. 
right? That's like the absolute direct, like base foundation of making money is that it's, it's a value exchange based on a problem and a solution. You have a problem, you're hungry, you go to a restaurant, he solves your problem, the chef solves your problem, the restaurant sells you a meal, he gets your money, right? Like in business, it's the same thing. When you don't make money, it's really because you're not solving anyone's problems, which comes down to you're not being valuable to the end prospect. Does that make sense? And so then the question is, how do you add value to yourself so much so that you become attractive in the marketplace and that you get sought out and people come to you to solve their problems? So the first stage is awareness, right? You have to be, understand the psychology of what I just shared. You get paid based on the value that you share in the marketplace. And that value can be in the form of your products, your services, your content, who you are, your story, your social media, all of that stuff. So that's the awareness and the psychology. That's stage one. Stage two is you got to develop and acquire and learn high in-demand skills. And I refer to them as scalable income skills. So a lot of people, they think if I just post on social media all day long, that's what's going to give me money. But the truth is your ability to learn a skill that's rewarded in the marketplace will determine how much money you make. So for example, generating traffic, copywriting, sales funnels building, you know, uh, email writing, webinars, all of these things are high in demand skills. They're scalable income skills that one person can develop. And if you can develop those, and then you can say, okay, you know what? Who's got a problem? Because now I have the skills, I have the tools that I can go and solve them. That's how you make money, right? And so that's, I would say, that's my first kind of overarching thing. And the second thing is, you know, if you needed to go and make an extra $10,000 a month, it's really one client at 10K or two clients at 5K each. So you need to go and find the right person that has the money and that you can go and ask them, hey, you're at this level. This is what I can offer you. Are you open for paying me X amount of money if I deliver this solution for you? And uh, and for the individual listening to that, so what type of offerings would they be giving with the skills? Would it be a service or would it be information? Yeah, it's, 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 usually, it's usually some sort of uh, in information or implementation. You know, if you're starting from scratch and you want to do so, you want to get to 10 grand a month, you know, find two clients and build them funnels. But you got to go and find the right people, right? You got to find someone who's already making six or seven figures and you have to be able to go and convince them and market to them and prospect to them and sell them the fact that you can do a job, right? It's like I, I got a tech, I got a message yesterday from a guy from Malaysia. He can't speak clean, proper English, no offense to him. But he sent me a message and he said, you know, I'm a copywriter and I want to talk to you. And I get these messages all the time, okay? And, and usually I say, okay, I'm really sorry. We're not hiring right now. Uh, which we're always hiring the right person, by the way. Okay. And so <laughs> sends me a message and, and I'm like, ah, another copywriter. But then he says, here's a script I wrote for you. Right. And I'm like, the guy went to the trouble of went going for my funnel, learning about me, then writing me two to three different headlines, explaining to me why his headlines is better than me. And guess what? He's scored a 30-minute call with me tomorrow, right? And I'm pretty sure at the end of the call, he's going to pitch me on his services. And it might be 5K, it might be 10K. But I've already seen how much value he can provide. I have no idea who this guy is. Randomly just cold emailed me, right? And yeah. I mean, it's like if he now goes and gets me as a client and I pay him 5 or 10K a month, well, like the question you have to ask yourself is why are you not doing that, right? If you're not making 10K a month, then why are you not going out and get hustling to get your first one or two clients? Great stuff, man. Yeah, really great. And I'm look, looking at uh, some of the chats here. So let's see if we can field a couple of questions that are coming through. And we see one. I'm going back up to the top here. So he's asking about suppliers. So here's where I think he might be thinking that it's uh, e-commerce related. So how are you? 
what is the best supplier to you? So do you do anything related to? Yeah, like, I actually products? have done, uh, you know, I actually have a uh, done for you job shipping uh, agency. So nice. Yeah, I, I'm actually in that space. I just don't talk about it publicly because we have different levels, different types of clients that we serve. Uh, but essentially, yeah. you know, um, best suppliers, well, if you go to something like Alibaba, uh, any of the top basically job shipping sites where you can go and basically get products okay a lot of the times what you can do is you can go and message on those places looking for supplies that's i think what we did i have someone that else that manages but i'm pretty sure this is the process maybe someone can correct me if i'm wrong but they went out they found one lady they got her on whatsapp and now he you know my guy just messages the lady and says hey uh, you know, what other products is hot right now in the marketplace that you can ship to us? So she'll send us samples and then through the samples, we look at it and be like, okay, you know what? That's the one that we want to uh, test out. We test it out through Instagram influencers. Uh, if we can get a 5X uh, uh, on our money, then we scale it up. And uh, that's pretty much it from my side. That's all, man. Yeah. And let's see. Let's take another question here. We got one. So from Shashi, she said, for someone who doesn't know coding, what's the best way to start an online business? Uh, you don't need to know coding in today's day and age. Uh, you need to go to YouTube and watch a bunch of videos on how to start an online business. Look at five or ten different models. There's so many different things from digital courses, coaching, affiliate marketing, uh, job shipping, blah, 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 uh, you know, eBay, Amazon, blah, blah, all of these things. And just go find, go through five or 10 different models and figure out which one speaks to you most, which one suited to your personality. And then you can say, okay, you know what? I like this. I don't like that. Let me go try this out. And then whatever you do, stick with it for at least 90 days. If you're consistent for 90 days, you can get some momentum. That's great stuff. And we're getting a little shout out from Noah Brewer. I'm not sure if you know Noah, but uh, he's been doing uh, viral e-com ads and uh, two comma club recipient. Uh, so he's saying, what's up? What's up, Noah? All right. Man, I tell you, this is really awesome stuff for sure. And so I'm curious. So uh, related to like the service offerings that that you offer, is it in is it funnels.com? Funnels.com, if you're interested, whether you're doing e-commerce or you're doing coaching and consulting, go to funnels.com. Uh, you can basically go there. There you go. You, you pull it out. If you go to funnels.com, you can go and register, get on my list. I've had over 1 million subscribers join my email list. So you're going to be in good hands. And, um, yeah, you can go out there and learn. Grab my free book. Get a free you know, discovery session with someone from my team and see if we can help you uh, start and scale an online hyper profitable business. And related to the event. So for those catching us live, you know, we're showing it on the screen here, but related to the event. So what's changed like since uh, the pandemic and, and things like that? And are you still doing events? Yeah, absolutely. Now we just call them summits and challenges. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And what, what's the best way to to follow and, and know more about when, when that's coming out? I mean, if you go to salesfunnelschallenge.com, salesfunnelschallenge.com, uh, we're doing a new one. Usually my programs are around ten to $20,000, but a lot of people, they say they can't afford it. And so I said, look, what if I just show you how to make an extra ten grand a month? And most people, that's what they would love to do. So we do this. Um, sometimes I change the pricing, you know, so 47 is probably the lowest I'll ever charge, but we're going to charge up to 997 for it. So right now it's 47 bucks. If you're interested, go to salesfunnelschallenge.com. Uh, that's salesfunnelschallenge.com. And then you can go watch the video. If it resonates with you, come and join us for five days and I'll give you a crash course on how to create a full-time income with this new high in demand skill. That's awesome. Yeah, so we're showing that on the screen and we'll be sure to share links in the show notes for sure. Um, so, yeah, I say for the audience, you know, listening, definitely you should be uh, taking notes and 
taking advantage of the opportunities that Shakir is giving because, uh, you know, he could be doing anything he wants to right now. And, and uh, I think he's, uh, you know, given a lot of value just by, you know, giving his time, you know, to, to give back, you know, basically, which, which is awesome. So I'd say be sure to take him up on, on those offers. Um, the other thing that I was uh, curious about, so, you know, speaking of that, so what does a day in your life look like now? Uh, you know, it all ranges, dude. Uh, but, you know, I usually wake up pretty early, 5, 6, 7 a.m. Uh, and then I'll just go on, you know, I, I, I review I review my personal goals for the day, for the month, for the year. I'll spend some time reading, praying, um, drinking my green juice, you know, uh, and then I, I'll just get straight to work. Uh, and by, by that, I mean, you know, I'll check up on my investments. I'll check up on different things I'm involved in. You know, I have a couple of different brands. And so I'm always like switching from, hey, what's going on here? But the majority of my focus is on funnels.com. And uh, I'll, I'll spend a good amount of time on that. And then Mondays and Tuesdays, I batch my work. So Mondays and Tuesdays are the only days I do calls with my clients. Uh, and so the rest of the week, I try not to do any other calls with clients or so no interviews, nothing like that. So that's, you know, that's Mondays and Tuesdays. And then the rest of the week, I, I've got a day for marketing, a day for sales, a day for operations and finances and all of that. No, that's great stuff, man. And I'm actually curious about, so I was wondering if you could maybe, you know, paint that picture of, uh, for the audience, paint that picture of like, you know, the, the sales funnel and like what you do to market it. Like, you know, some of the, some of the technicals there. Yeah. I'm not really like, if you, the best way I can say is if you're interested in it, just go through funnels.com. If you go through funnels.com, you'll see the whole procedure. You'll see what makes it convert, you know, how it's converting. Um, and if you click on it, you're probably going to see some of my ads, my retargeting ads. You might see my ads on YouTube, uh, on Google, on, you know, different um, websites that you visit. That's because, I've, I've, you know, I have retargeting set up. Um, but the best way, you know, it's not technical at all. That's one of the things that we do with our clients. If someone doesn't have mm -hmm. a funnel that's bringing them in leads and clients on a day-to-day -day basis in an automated yeah. fashion then we just tell them hey let's let's just help you build your funnel for you and so we'll just give them an entire done for you funnel and then i have my ads agency which will run their traffic and then help them get traffic so they can just focus on one or two things versus versus trying to do 101 things like most most marketers most business owners do and, and when it comes to the the advertising part, uh, like what what networks are you are you guys focused on? Like uh, you know, Facebook, Facebook just Facebook and YouTube, Google. Yeah, that's it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So yeah, I think you know as far as Shakir's you know services and what he's teaching. So when you even mention about like you know focusing on a particular skill set, because I think you know that's one of the things that I think is really powerful you know, walking away with, you know, you're, you're putting in time. And I would say for the audience listening, like, you know, don't get discouraged if things aren't working in the beginning. Like you said, you, you, you were plugging away for nine months trying to figure, you know, things out, but, you know, eventually you, you stick with it, things begin working, but then also you're developing that, that skill set. So, um, what, what should be some of the key skill sets that, that they should focus on? You know, sales funnels is good. Copywriting is great. Uh, stuff like that. Those those skills, you really can't go wrong with those skills. Awesome. And when it comes to like uh, education, so what would you recommend, you know, as far as where where should they be uh, looking to, to kind of stay on the edge? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, for different things, you can, there's so many different sites and, and training <laughs> programs, right? But if you're trying to learn about funnels, whether it's your business, other people's business, e-commerce brands, uh, then just go through my site, funnels.com. I have a complimentary daily newsletter that goes out, talks about funnels. Uh, it's called the Funnels Insider Newsletter. And so you get access to that for free. Uh, and every day you can get tips and tricks and strategies on what funnels work, what don't, what doesn't work and be really educated in this marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. 
And it actually brings up uh, a question because, you know, in some cases, like people start searching on YouTube and they end up finding some people that they end up getting, you know, scammed by, you know, that that kind of stuff exists in the industry. Uh, so, like, what advice would you give, you know, to help people, you know, how do they vet out, you know, who's who's been real, who's, you know, who's not and so on? Yeah, one of the best ways to do that is just by seeing you know, if they have like testimonials and stuff. So like in my business, what we've done is we know that a lot of the people are just completely jaded. You know, they bought so many different programs. They're kind of yeah. sick and tired. They, they tried so many different <laughs> things. So what we yeah. do is, you know, in all of our websites and stuff, we tell them, hey, if you go to, you know, wealthacademy.com, which is one of my other eight figure brands. I so if you go to wealthacademy.com forward slash reviews, then you're going to be able to see uh, literally hundreds of reviews. You know what I mean? And you'll be able to yeah. see other people just like you, you know, start from zero and scale up their business. Great, great, great advice for sure. And, uh, and it's important too, because I mean, that kind of stuff, you know, happens. And like you said, you know, they'll, they'll walk away feeling jaded when really, you know, there is a great opportunity at their fingertips, but uh, they just happen to pick the wrong one. And I would say for those, for the audience listening, Shakir is one that's reputable. You can see the, you know, plaques behind him, every, everything that he's been doing. And it's, it's the reason why I extended the invite to, to have him on the show. That's been the point of the podcast as well, is try to highlight, you know, the people that have been been keeping it real and with success and helping a lot of people. Um, so I'm, you know, very thankful that that you come on the show to share your knowledge there. Now, the other question that that I have, because um, what are your thoughts on on Clubhouse and how you've been using it? And, you know, what should people be thinking about how to use it for for their business? Yeah, absolutely, man. So, you know, when it comes to Clubhouse, I've been able to get a handful of high ticket sales and customers from there. So it is a great platform. Um because it's new, it's easy. I think I've got like 16,000 or 15,000 followers or something over there. So when I start a room, I can get lots of people coming in. Um, and it's a great connect, a new social media site to get connected with, you know, market leading influencers. The big mistake people make is they think, you know, just joining the next podcast or the next clubhouse is what's going to make them money. That doesn't make you money, right? What makes you money is making sure that you have a high converting offer, that you have a traffic, a lead generation system, and then a funnel that sells your offer and that can get the traffic. And if you focus on those three things, you'll be able to increase your profits, increase your business versus trying to just be on to get information or to get followers. You know, a lot of the big mistakes people make is, that they think, you know, just consuming is success, like just consuming information. You know, for me, I try to produce as much as I can, and I recommend this to all of my private consulting clients as well, is, you know, focus on production versus consumption. Yeah. No, that, that's really great and uh, very well said because, I mean, I feel the same way that there's a lot of two, a lot many people that, will begin consuming but not producing uh, producing enough. And, uh, yeah, I, I hear you for sure, man. Well, hey, man, you dropped a lot of value here today. And uh, I really I really appreciate that. And I want to be mindful uh, of, of your time as well. So what's the uh, what's the best way for people to to follow you? Yeah, absolutely. Just go to funnels.com, F-U-N-N. E L S dot com. That's funnels.com. Just one word. Go to funnels.com, put in your best email address, get access to the bonuses. And I try and give away more stuff for free than most people pay thousands of dollars for. Right. Like I want to give away 95% of my stuff for free. And then the 5% I sell, you know, it's only for a specific group of people that can afford my high ticket programs. So I, I try and give a lot of value up front. Um, and I have people on my email list that have been with me for like 10 plus years. Uh, in fact, this morning I had someone who's a, a, one of my VIP funnel clients. It's an $18,000 program he bought today. He paid today. And when I got on the phone with him, 
He said he's been following me for like 10, 11 years, which is absolutely insane, right? Uh, but that's the power of an email relationship. And if you want to see behind the scenes, you know, a lot of people, they want to funnel hack me. They want to see what I'm doing. Just go to funnels.com and then just check out that process. And if you feel like compelled, hey, this guy can help me, then make sure you book a call and me and my team will get back to you. Yeah, yeah. And I was even curious about hearing more about that, which is the the follow-up system that, that you use, because I think that's one of the things that most people miss, you know, especially if they're looking at businesses, they see, you know, only the offers on the front end, but they don't see, you know, what's what's going behind the, the scenes and the whole follow-up sequence. Um, so it actually reminds me, is it cool to like, you know, follow up with you maybe six months down the road, have you back on the show? Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Let's do, do awesome, another man. one in yeah, six months time. I know we could talk for hours. <laughs> yeah, probably we could, yeah, we could do another one maybe in six months time. Just hit me up. We'll see how it is. That'd be great, brother. So, well, I want to give you a chance to leave some closing remarks with the audience. So I'll let you take it away. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, you know, um, one of the things I started off with this interview is it's it's really not about just like learning and thinking, oh, yeah, this feels good. This sounds good, right? It's about taking massive action even when you're faced with uncertainty. So if you're in a place right now where you feel, oh, my gosh, I'm like down and under, pandemics here, I don't know what to do, then go and seek out mentors that have already got the results that, that you want. And go and align yourself with them, you know, invest in yourself, be around the people that can lift you up and show you a new reality. Great stuff, brother. Awesome, Shakir. Glad to have you on the show, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate your audience. And uh, again, if you want to learn more, just head over to funnels.com and uh, we will catch up then. All right. So I just lit a long pause there. So that'll be the break point for the for the audio podcast so behind the scenes. But we want to be respectful of Shakir's time because he's got uh, other meetings to, to run to. So we're going to end the live stream right now, guys. So for those that that joined us, uh, thanks for joining. And uh, this will go through editing. And, you know, I think, you know, maybe a couple of weeks down, we'll uh, we'll have the audio podcast coming out and then even some clips from what we have here you'll get a chance to see that on, on YouTube and, and so on. So I'm going to stop the live.